Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can set up an iTunes account without having to put in any credit card information so that you don't have to have that link to it and you don't run the risk of running up your credit card bills with it. So first, you're obviously going to need to open iTunes. Now you can search for this in Spotlight if you wanted to and open it from there. Um, but I have it open right here. And you're going to want to, on the left sidebar, just click on iTunes Store. And this will come up on the iTunes Store. Now, if you already have a iTunes account, you're going to need to go up to the Store tab and you'll click the Sign Out button. That'll be here. Uh, you need to be signed out in order to do this. And normally, if you click Create Account in the Store menu, you're going to see this window pop up. And it says, you know, you have to get your Apple ID. So you would click Continue. And then agree to the terms and conditions. And then when you have to um, fill out your information, I'm just going to enter some random stuff here. Then you're going to see this Choose Payment Method screen, and it's going to require you to either attach a credit card to it or a PayPal account. Now, let's say you have a account and you're setting it up for your kid or something like that, or maybe just for yourself, and you don't really want to link a credit card to it you know, in case you accidentally buy something you didn't want to, or maybe you just like using iTunes gift cards, which is what I do with my account. Um, you don't have to enter any credit card information and link it to any account. So what you can do is you can just go back to the iTunes homepage, which is what you'll see when you click on iTunes Store. And from here, you're just going to find an app. So I'm going to click on the App Store tab at the top here. And you're going to look for apps. Now, you have to find a free app that you know is free. So I'll choose free apps, and let's just choose the top free app here, which is Office Jerk. Um, it's kind of like a fun app, actually. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on free app. And what it's going to do here is it's going to bring up this sign in to download from the iTunes store. So you're going to click from here, create new account. Now, when you set, up, set this up, you're going to see the same things. And I'll just enter some fake information here. Now when you go to the next screen, you're going to see this option here under credit card. And it says none. So you select none. Now you don't have to put in any credit card information. You don't have to link it up with anything. Now there will be absolutely no chance of you know, getting charges on your credit card if you accidentally download something. Or if you have a kid and you don't really trust them with you know, your credit card on the line and they could potentially buy thousands of dollars worth of apps or something like that. And then you can enter iTunes gift cards or things like that and only have to allot them a certain amount of money through that. And it's a very nice way to do things. And it's a little bit of a workaround, a little bit of a loophole, I guess, to um, set up a credit card, to set up an iTunes account without a credit card. And that's really all there is to it. Then you just continue on and you have a fully featured iTunes, Apple ID, and uh, you can use it to, you know, to download music, download apps, anything that you would normally do, provided that you have a iTunes gift card entered in there. And it works just like any other account. And this is personally what I use because I only use iTunes gift cards. I tend to get quite a few of those. So that's pretty much all there is to it. And it's as simple as that. But it's a little handy tip that not a lot of people know about. So I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.